Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to tell you what to do if Windows 10 can't see computers in its network. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. If you encounter this issue and your Windows 10 computer can no longer see other PCs in the network neighborhood or disappears from the network itself, this video will help you fix the problem. Users started to experience the problem with displaying other computers in the local network back in the days of version 1703, Creators Update. After installing this update and trying to open the network neighborhood, the computer stops recognizing other members of such network. Windows 10 computers are not displayed in the network, so what can we do? You can see the list of computers in your local network by opening the File Explorer or by executing the NetView command in the command prompt. If the list is empty or the command says there are no entries to be displayed, here are the settings to be checked in the first place. Make sure access to files and folders is enabled. Open Control Panel, Network and Sharing Center and open Advanced Sharing Settings. Check if the following options are active for the current private network. Turn on Network Discovery and turn on File and Printer Sharing. In the profile for all networks, enable the following options. Public Folder Sharing – so that network users can read and write files in the public folders. Turn off Password Protected Sharing – in case you trust all devices in your network. Then open Settings – Network and Internet, Ethernet, if you are joined to a local network with a wireless connection, select Wi-Fi. Click on the network icon to check if the Network Discover option is active. The on position changes the network type to private and the off position to public. In some cases, to enable Network Discover you have to open the command prompt as administrator and perform the following command. Sometimes a Windows computer is not displayed in the network neighborhood because of the wrong settings of the workgroup it belongs to. Try adding the computer to the workgroup again by changing the settings. Control Panel System Advanced System Settings Computer Name Network ID In the Join a Domain Workgroup wizard that opens, select one by one. This computer is part of a business network. My company uses a network without a domain. And enter the name of your workgroup. After that, restart your PC. Open the network and check if new computers appeared. If the previous hints didn't help and other computers are not displayed anyway, try resetting the network. Settings Network and Internet Status Network Reset You can also reset network and firewall settings with the command prompt by using the following commands. After that, restart the computer. Another solution is to check services. Also, check if the following services are running. Type services in the search field and press Enter. For the network neighborhood to be displayed properly, all these services should have their startup type as automatic. DNS client, SSDP discovery, function discovery resource publication, workstation, server, UPnP device host, Function Discovery Provider Host Network Discovery is implemented with the function Discovery Resource Publication Service, and by default it starts manually instead of automatically as it was before. 
Turning this service on should help you fix the problem. Often problems with displaying computers in the network neighborhood are connected with the master browser service. This service is in charge of building and maintaining the list of computers active within the network. In a local network, there can be only one active computer having the master browser role. The master browser service is known to work incorrectly in Windows version 1703. In addition, Windows 10 has the SMB protocol disabled by default, which means that computer browser service is disabled too. But that's just the service whose job is to list and display computers which belong to a specific network. So if your network only includes computers with Windows 10, this issue can be fixed by enabling SMB protocol. For that purpose, go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, Turn Windows features on or off. Look for SMB file sharing support. Check the box. Make sure that all the three components are enabled. Click OK. Wait for the necessary components to be installed and restart the computer. If a computer is not displayed in the network after 1803 update, here's the key. In Windows 10 1803, also known as Spring Creators Update, developers eliminated the opportunity to create a home group of computers. And what is more, computers with Windows 10 are no longer displayed in the network neighborhood when you view network devices. The matter is that Microsoft believes workgroups are an obsolete function to organize the local network with shared resources and printers. Instead of workgroups, Microsoft suggests using its cloud services – OneDrive or access via Microsoft account. To my mind, it is unjustified. Yet, in fact, if you want to access the resources of another computer on the network in version 1803, you need to know its name. PC name 1 or IP address in the format like 192.168.1.100. But computers are not displayed in the network neighborhood. However, it can be fixed. The point is that discovering computers on the network in, in Windows 10 is the job handled by a specific service, Function Discovery Resource Publication. And after updating to version 1803, this service gets disabled by default. The startup type is now changed from automatic to disabled. If this service is stopped, the computer will not be discovered in the network by other computers. And here is how you can enable the automatic discovery service in Windows 10 version 1803. Open the Windows Service Console – services.msc. On the list of services, find Function Discovery Resource Publication. It should be disabled. Change the startup type from manual to automatic, delayed start, and restart the computer. After the restart, other computers on the local network will be able to discover this computer and its resources, such as printers and shared folders. Another way to solve this problem is to set static IP addresses for the computers where you would like to have shared folders. To do it, open the Router Settings as Administrator, uh, find the DHCP tab and add the list of computers with static IP addresses. Then set the same IP addresses in the computer settings, specifying 192.168.01 or 192.168.11, depending on the router. Set primary DNS like 8888 and secondary DNS like 8844. After that, restart your PC. You can learn more about router settings from our YouTube channel, as it features an entire series of tutorials on all aspects of configuring a router. And that is all for today. I hope you find this video useful, so hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!